So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of Kindergarten 2. Now if you guys haven't seen the last episode, we managed to crack down on the janitor's objectives and actually completed the day with what he wanted to do. As a result, we've unlocked a new item which I think is going to progress onto some brand new stuff and we also discovered that this place isn't quite normal. But it's Kindergarten. We kind of knew that already, right? Listen, for this series, we're doing only short intros because I've just got to get playing this thing. If you want the next episode soon, 20k likes, come on, let's go. Guys, it's always Tuesday times two, you already know that good stuff, but we are back though, and I said in the last episode, we got the first item we needed, I guess, to progress through the missions. Check this thing out then, dude. So, Bob's tool belt. How we got that thing? Look, if you haven't seen the last episode, you don't need to know. Ooh, we also got some new stuff in the wardrobe as well. Let me check this out. Okay, let's see this one. We got the strict sash right there. You already know we're going for that good stuff. And wait, we can change the hair color as well. <laughs> the uptight cut. <laughs> let's take a look at this good stuff. I mean, no, no. Let's take a look at that. Nice. Not bad. Not bad, kid. Another thing we did in the last episode is made some decent progression with the monster mon cards. Uh, wait, hold up. All right, I say that, but we've got five out of 40 monsters on cards and wait hold up a second wait what there's 50 we've got to find 50 of the monster mon cards that's uh kind of insane now i can guess that this bottom row here which is the purple ones they're probably the most rare i mean we've got these like gold colored ones and they seem to be doing a lot more damage then again these ones might be all about i guess like the different characteristics or what type they are we've also got to figure out a way to actually play monster mon with people so hold up a second no we're not wait hold up look this is all stuff we've got to do now let's go over to the help section of this because there's some new missions that we want to do and i'm still trying to debate which one do i actually want to do. We have flowers for Diana and we have the Hitman's Party Guard. This one is all about Felix and Ted, aka the Boston Kids. That's entirely new characters and I think that one might be a lot of fun. So I think, you know, I'm gonna do that one there. Because this dude right here, he's basically Nugget 2.0. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Oh, for God's sake. Yes, I am. Here we go, man. Another thing as well you guys might be noticing is that I'm now leaving the camera below the text even when it's not on screen to, you know, stop doing this thing because it's a bit distracting. Dude, there's so much I want to do with this game. But look, okay, let's stick on track for now. Let's see what is the first way we start this mission? Start the mission by talking to Felix and then Ted in that specific order. All right, so which one is Felix right now? Hello? This one? I told you already, Teddy. This plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you. And I know. It's just, I don't know, Felix. This whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy uh, he hasn't done anything to us. He'll be fine. Quit being such a... <coughs> How long have you been here listening to our little chat? Not too long. Good. I wouldn't want Ted here to get in trouble. Hey, why would I get in trouble? I didn't do anything. Which is just so typical of you, Teddy. I'll just save our family's company myself. Good luck with that. So we spoke to the two people, but that started absolutely no single quest. Now what that does do is give us enough of like a starting boundary. So let's talk to Ozzy right now. I can't believe it. It's not fair. What's not fair? The resting of my friends, all of them but me, moved to a new school to make room for you jerks. How many were moved? Three. We got a bad deal if you ask me. Well, it's been nice talking to you. And what about some other dialogue trees right here? We've got what's your name or not interested. Yes! Let's double check. It is Ozzy, definitely. All right, so we know about the three people being moved. Now, what about if we talk to these guys again after that? Let me see. Teddy here is just so mediocre. Whatever he's trying to accomplish will surely fail. Oh, hey, I'm Ted. Why aren't you in on Felix's plan? Let's find out. Because he's a good-for-nothing disgrace to my family's name. I'm sorry, Felix. I just want to help. I can do this. Maybe I can explain better during morning time. I'll be in the regular class. The <laughs> stupid class. <sighs> This stupid class, if you want to talk, then. Okay, now one thing I'm really thankful for, guys. I don't got to do the janitor's voice and destroy it. Honestly, my voice after that was wrecked for hours, dude. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, cool. I can't wait to get started. Now that I think about it, we can start now. What are you trying to accomplish? Just help me with this one part, and I'll tell you the rest during morning time, okay? Okay, what do I need to do? Well, we're going to need to distract Tazi during morning time. Talk to him and see if you can figure out what would draw his attention. And I'm going to need someone who I can stage a fight with. Probably a girl. Although with the reasoning, I'm not sure if there are any in the uh, dumb class. Teddy, you can't pull this off. I'll handle it. Let it go. Nope. I'm gonna try. You'll see. All right, let's speak to Ozzy one more time. So what do you like to do? I like to play with my favorite toy, Destructotron. He's so cool. Oh, he used to be. His battery ran out. Not that a new kid likes you cares. Aren't there any other batteries? Not unless one of you new kids is selling them. Until then, my favorite toy is just a dumb paperweight. Let's stop talking to him. So, should we buy that? Would that be something to do with the mission, perhaps? All right, guys. So, Monty is still the playground dealer by this point. So, we can buy batteries here. This is a battery. It can power small electronics and toys. It'll run you $2. Deal? I mean, we may as well. Pleasure doing business with you. It always is. Yep, that's absolute bullcrap. Okay, so we're going to get this started. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. We'll go to class. This, I think, though, is where the mission might begin. So, let's find out. Okay, everyone's going off and playing with their toys right now. Now, okay. Ted held back. Dude, let's talk to Ted a second. My dad drives a car like this. He said that when he- Okay, we've heard this. Okay, hang on. Let's talk to Ozzy a second. Destructotron was my best toy in the toy box. My friend and I used to play with him all the time before you new kids came in. Uh, uh what's the best toy? Yeah, but now he's out of battery. No friends, no toys. The new kids are the worst. You're gonna have this battery. Well, really? Thanks. Maybe you aren't so bad. I'm gonna go play over by the toy box. I'll see you around, kid. So, 
Does that change anything? I mean, Nugget comes in with his hand like bleeding up. Alright, let's try talking to Ted one more time. Keeps talking about the car then. He said he wanted to talk during morning though, I think. Okay, hold up a second. This doesn't feel right. Let me restart. Okay, so the only girl in our class is Cindy right now, okay? So, okay, this is who we need to talk to. I knew we was missing a step. This new school is so much more my style, especially with the new selection of boys. What do you think? Yeah, Ted wants your help with something actually. Ooh, how forward. I've only been here like five seconds and I'm already being propositioned. Well then, he'll just have to go through a little test. Here's some gum. If he makes it find his way into another girl's hair, then it's a date. I'll let him know. I don't like it when a man keeps me waiting. I want it done before before the bell rings. Chop, chop. All right, so we're gonna go over to Ted right now. Let's see about this. So is there a girl you can set me up with? Yep, hand him that. Ew, why did you give me some chewed up gum? Stick it in a girl's hair. What? That's so mean. But my plan, will this girl go along with my plan if I do this? What was that accent? Seriously, I think so. Okay, I guess I'll just stick it in Carla's hair. Why not Penny? No, I, I mean, Carla's mean sometimes. She deserves gum in her hair more than Penny. Okay, go do it. I'm really sorry about this, Carla. Sorry about what? You haven't done any straight in the hair right there. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Well, you just made yourself a new enemy, Ted. I'd watch your back if I was you. I'm really sorry, but I have to do this. This is a really a Get away from me! Alright, he goes on back, but we got the objective done. Oh, man. She seemed really mad. Mad, I feel terrible. This is the plan. I know, but can you just go over there and see if she's okay? Maybe we can make it up to her later. I'll see what I can do. All right, Cindy comes over. Oh, that was wonderful. You're gonna be an excellent boyfriend. Yeah, okay, it's all coming together. I'll see you in morning time. Good grief, Teddy. It's fine, Felix. My plan will work. You'll see. Walk away from Ted. So Monty goes to our shot, but this is all coming together much nicely. Yeah, first of all, you good, Carla? Uh, what the heck is wrong with Ted? He just came up and stuck gum in my hair. Anything I can do to help? That's nice, kid. I appreciate it. I could use some scissors to cut this crud out of my hair. Okay. I already know where I can get those, dude. Upstairs, but since you're in the less gifted class, it would probably be easier for you to get them at lunch. Thanks, kid. Here's a vending machine coupon. I would do it myself, but I'm not allowed to use the vending machine anymore after I started counterfeiting. And there goes the bell. So that's got to be a good start, right? Because Ted did ask us to check on Carla, so I assume this is the mission objective. All right, let's see what Ted's saying now. All right, here we go. Boston Muse again. Oh, good. Here, here. Felix has this scheme that's going to find our family's company. But I have a better one, and no one wants to listen. What is it? I'll tell you. But you got to promise not to tell anyone, though. Felix will be so mad if his plan gets ruined, and it's my fault. I won't tell anyone. I want to use you to kill Ozzy. Why me? We heard about what happened at your old school. We know what you're uh, capable of. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's cool. I'm cool with you being a murderer. That's why we wanted to recruit you. So you want me to kill Ozzy? I don't I well, Felix does. And I, I I want what Felix wants. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to kill Ozzy. Okay, what's in it for me? Felix doesn't let me know about the family money. I just assume that he's gonna give you something really expensive if we pull this off. So, how do we kill him? Well, I wanna give him an asthma attack. Uh, he uses his inhaler a lot. He keeps it in his cubby. So, why do we need Cindy? Well, we're gonna need a long distraction. I figured we'd pretend to fight or something to draw the teacher's attention and you could grab it. Let's get that inhaler. Right, but first we should handle Ozzy. You got something to distract him, right? So we got the batteries that was necessary. Good thinking. He'll move to the other side of the class to play with Destructotron. Go give him that battery and then we can talk about Cindy. Alright, so we speak to Ozzy. We've done this before. We give him the battery. Now he's gonna go and play with Destructotron in the corner. So we're good there. Part one done. With Ozzy out of the way, we're ready to make our move. When we start the distraction, be ready to grab that inhaler. Also, Felix didn't get a chance to empty his cubby before going to the smart class. There's some stuff in there that might be worth grabbing. Like money? No, no, no. The money is in my cubby. Felix is to the right of Ozzy's. But what is that? Anyway, let's go start a distraction. Lead the way. I guess we go over then to Cindy. Look at this dude. He's following us around like an NPC. Let's talk to Cindy. I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. Yeah, we need that distraction right now, okay? Oh, really? Sorry, sweetie, but I'll only do something like that for my boyfriend. Ted will be your boyfriend. Yeah, remember? We need to put on a show to distract the teacher. Oh, yeah. That's my kind of date. Wait, why am I doing it like a Boston? Are you ready to go then? He is. Yeah, let's go. Be ready to grab that inhaler, kid. Follow me, boyfriend. We're about to have our first spat. So over they go. All right, here we go. Are you ready, sweetie? Ready for what? You haven't told me anything. Just play along. I've done this a billion times. Play along with what? This does How dare you? Ow! You're a jerk. Well, there's more where that came from. The teacher's gonna hear, right? Hey, Cindy, stop. Knock it off right now. So she goes over, and this is our chance. Dude, she's really pounded on that. What the freak? What is this? Like a chain reaction? Right, do I grab the inhaler or this? Hold up. This is obvious because he has the inhaler. Did I say cuzzy? I think I did. Then this one here. It's Felix's cubby. I don't actually know what's in it. Whatever it is, it's green. And <laughs> Just a piece of snot in a bag, right, guys? No. Right, snitch that good stuff, all right? Okay, okay, I'll stop. But I'll kill him if he ever does that again. Not good enough, you little brat. You're getting study hall for this little incident. It was worth it. So she goes back, and that's all that done, all right? So... Ted comes running over. Let's see. Did you get it? Please tell me you got it. I got it. Awesome. You're really good at this. Thanks. Now what? Now that we took away his lifeline, we just need to stress him out enough to trigger an asthma attack. What stresses him out? Ozzy's a bit 
particular. He likes to do things a certain way. If we can break his routines, he should start freaking out. Okay, where do we start? Lunch. He does a lot of really specific things there. It shouldn't be hard to throw him off his game. Okay, then. So, that's it done. Okay, we've never had this scene before. Attention, new kids. He runs over to us specifically. Here's your passbook. If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed out in the halls. Don't get any crazy ideas, though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Got it. So we could use that right to get the scissors that we need. Oh, thank God. That's the battle. Get out of my classroom and go to lunch. Let's do it. All right. Oh, there you are. It's time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. What is it? Look at this. Even Felix is coming over right now. What the devil are you talking to him for? What are you two doing? Oh, it's nothing, Felix. I'm just going to show the new kid where the folks are. Follow me, new kid. So, did he say folks or folks? Okay, Felix can know that we're doing this. I just want to do it with the two of us so he knows that I can take charge of stuff. Okay. In a few minutes, Ozzy is going to leave and use the bathroom. You need to take the stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. So what? It'll stress him out. That's the name of the game here. We just have to keep putting pressure on him until he cracks. Now go out that stall and wait for him. Ah, oh, Felix is watching. Here's a fox so we don't look suspicious. Ah, uh, thanks. All right, I could pass that, but it looks like we mentioned getting the scissors. Of course, we should probably do that while you're out as well. Good idea. Okay, so we gotta leave. What are you doing? You cannot leave. You haven't eaten yet. Again, I'm doing Boston voices for everything, dude. Hang on, so I gotta eat right now? Hello, child. What would you like for lunch? Uh, I'll take the hamburger. There you are, child. What one burger, please enjoy. Yeah, thanks very much for that. So, yeah, we're done. I bought a burger. Oh, my mistake. Please allow me to mark your passbook. Here you go. There you are. Thank you for buying lunch today. All right, so we've now successfully left. Now, what about this dude here? Because we need to get upstairs, right? The elevator is not going to work as well. Yeah, we got to ignore that, but we can talk to this guy here. Hey, man, you need a pass to get out of here. Go back to lunch or I'm giving you study hall. I have one. Oh, a bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. But... How do I get upstairs? Back it up, kid. Your pass is for the bathroom. Not upstairs. I can't let you go up there. What can I do so you'll let me up? Hmm, well, that little knock took my cigarettes this morning. You wouldn't happen to have something to smoke. <laughs> It wasn't, uh, yeah, it wasn't starting a bad guy. I do. Whoa, this is even better than cigarettes. Thanks, man. So we can go upstairs right now. Okay, this is coming together really nicely. I'm loving this mission so far. So over to the vending machine. This vending machine is filled with school supplies. Only the scissors look useful. So we could get the passbook, but we don't need to do that. We're going to use the coupon on the scissors. Or, wait, do we buy it? You know? We'll buy them for now because we can always go back and... Wait, I, I, I meant to use the thing on it. Use the coupon on the scissors. That's much better. If this turns out to be the wrong thing, we can always go back and use the coupon on like the passbook, but for now, let's head on back downstairs. So it was the left one of these that we have to use here. Hang on a second, dude, someone's in there. Uh, hey, is anyone out there? I need some toilet paper. There isn't any here. Could walk away. I mean, there is some right here, dude, but should I use this stall? Let's go ahead and use it. So, dude, we take a dump right now. I should get going. I'll get in trouble if I stay here. Wait, hold up a second. I don't think that's right. Okay, so we have to do this in a little bit of a different order, I think, guys. So we start by giving this guy the hall pass. Then we go to the bathroom and we get the scissors after, okay? Let me just see. Is that stall? It's free. Now we can take this one. And that's the whole point. We have to stress him out. Ugh, I'm really going to take it down right now, guys. All right, so the door is closed. Now, look. My dude has got to be coming in, right? So, wait, once again, hold up. What the? Who's in there? This is my stall. I use it every day. Come out right now. I'm not done yet. Unacceptable. Everyone knows this is my stall. Now, hurry up and finish. Just use the other one. The other one? I'd rather die than die. Uh, you haven't heard the last of this, kid. Bye, Ozzy. So he doesn't go for the toilet, but that's adding to the stress level, all right? It's like the toy become human all over again. Now, one thing I suspect, again, I've got to slightly rechange the order of this, okay? So by giving him that, it would end everything. So hold up a second. I got to back out one more time. So we start by giving this dude the hall pass. Then we try and go upstairs. Then we give him this right here here, and then he says you're welcome, and then we go to the bathroom. We do this because now we're already on the apple, and I think by using the stall in the first place, it always uses an apple. Now, after this point here, we then get the scissors upstairs. This is how this all works out. Okay, so now we're starting recess at the perfect time right here, and we've never done recess before as well. Have you seen my inhaler? I thought I left it in the cubby, but it's not there. I haven't seen it. Darn it. Good thing I keep a backup in my lockers upstairs. Are you kidding me? I'll just use that if anything happens. Well, thanks for telling me, Ozzy. You've just messed up officially. Dude. Hold up, there's a monster monk cut up there. Should I try and climb the wall? I mean, it doesn't use any points, right? Bro, I gotta do this. I need that at the top. Hold up. How do we do this? So we're gonna climb this, dude. So move over there. Then... Wait, how does this work? This system. Hold up. Is there, like, only one right... There's gotta be only one right way up with this. I gotta figure this out. So, we go to the side here. Then we go up. Then... Too far. Straight up here, so we've made it to this point. Let's go right. We don't go right with this. And then you've gotta memorize the path. Okay, so... All the way to the right. Up a little bit. And then with the yellow stone there. Let's go to the left, maybe up. Oof, we've made it halfway. Let's go left again. And then oh, for God's Not sake. left. Let's go right with this one. Maybe we go up here. We do. Okay, now, where do we go from here? Let's try up again. Okay, we could go up a little bit to the red line, but that's two-thirds of the way now. Left again. Get up. Oof. Okay, now we're at the red line. Let's go left here. Then up. 
Dude, look how close we are right now. Maybe we're gonna go right again? Go right. <laughs> we're gonna go up again. There's a very small path at the top there. It's very, very confined. So I've got this so far, guys. We make a large C. Then we make a smaller C right here, you see? So I did there right now. Then we do a line across. Then we get to the top here. Now, it's a very... Dude, right there, we got it. Hold up. Castle of Sand. Let's go, man. Take that tumble right now. Okay, that's Monster Mon card number six. Now, now we're going to talk to Felipe. So we're good here. Did you hear that? He has another inhaler. Darn it. Well, he definitely seems stressed. I'll take it you made it to the stall on time. We did. Good. We continue with the plan then. We just need to adapt to them. How so? We've got some things to do. One is to find a green flower. Ozzy is highly allergic. And just seeing one should be enough to freak him out so we know where to get it. There's a few around the school. I know one grows back by the dumpster. I'll be back with it. The gate is locked up though. Let's see. Hold up. This gate looks old. It will probably open the slight push. That was as simple as that, dude. And then we go back. Now, I've seen this on the ground right here. So all we do is we take it. Wow, you are so good. So now we just have to get into that locker and steal the backup inhaler. How do we do that? There's only one person that could get us into that locker. I put gum in her hair this morning. Ah, oh, crap. Well, let's see if we can smooth things over with her. Maybe she'll forgive me. So that is exactly why we needed the scissors right now. Hey, uh, you know, so about this morning. Get in line, gringo. It's still my turn to jump on the trampoline. We have a job for you. Is that so? Dude, she just gives up straight away and runs over. And why would I be so inclined to help the kid who put gum in my hair this morning? I'm really sorry about that. But if it helps, my plan has already been pretty successful. Shut it, snob. Did you get those scissors I asked for? We did. Good. At least I got that going for me. So will you help? Oh, uh, I guess. If you do one more favor for me. You see that kid in the wheelchair over there? He's been making some moves on my turf today. So I gotta show him not to do that. How? It's a screwdriver. See to it that his wheels are less than operable. Oh my goodness me. No way. He'll see us. There's two of you. One of you pretend to buy something from that little fence while the other sneaks behind him and pops out a screw. It's not that complicated. Good. Come see me when it's done. All right, will do. Uh, so I guess we gotta do this. We have to further disable a cripple. I feel sick. Yeah, this feels really bad. Like, why am I doing this? Guys, remember this game is all about just parodying some bull crap. This is all lighthearted fun and I'm just enjoying it for what it is. I mean, fair point. You're trying to kill another kid. That's different. I know Felix has a good reason for... Never mind. Let's just get it over with. Right, before we do, if you want to buy or sell stuff, you should probably do it now. I doubt he'll be in the mood after we ruin his day. But what do you mean? For the last part of my plan, you'll have to go to science instead at a gym. Oh, I'll be right back. So, wait, what do we need to get to science again? What? Just because I can't walk doesn't mean I can't play? I, I just wanted to buy something. Yeah, I wish I could sell you something, but all of my stuff is in my locker upstairs. I can't bring it everywhere with me. Okay, so do we gotta talk back to Felix now then in that case? Okay, so we can sell the inhaler. Yeah, I can take that. I'll give you two dollars for a deal. I guess. Was that good? Okay, so I just restarted this whole scene here. Now, I'm thinking we've maybe got to sell the inhaler because that's in yellow text, so we may need like four dollars for at least something. Either way, guys, it's time to do this thing, so pleasure doing business with you. Listen, bro, I'm about to do my own business right now, okay? Are you ready to unscrew his chair? I'm ready now. Okay, I'll go pretend to buy ourselves something. Just try to make sure it doesn't get hurt too bad, okay? So look, that dude running over ready to buy something, and we go behind, but will the teacher see? Oh, I don't know about this. Hold on a minute, kid. Money bags over here is gonna make a purchase, okay? Wait, Hi. bro, how the freak do I do this then? Okay, we stand back. Should I remove a screw from Monty's wheelchair? We should. Okay, dude, no one saw. Oh, oh no, 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 no. What happened to my chair? This sucks. Why is this happening to me? Oh my, I, uh, I'll let you get yourself together. We'll talk later when you're uh, not on the floor. Just get out of here. So we run away. That is literally the most incredible thing. Like, that's so mean. That's terrible. Well done. Okay, a deal's a deal. I'll see to it that Ozzy's locker room is open by the time you get to it. Can you grab the inhaler for us? That's not part of the deal. You only set the locker. You're gonna have to grab whatever you want out of it by yourself. I feel pretty bad about that, but it was necessary. Sure it was. It's almost time to go do the actual job now. Are you ready for the big moment? What do I have to do? When the bell rings, pay the lab fee and go to science. That's where Ozzy goes after recess. Then what? Once you're there, cause a distraction and sneak out. Grab the inhaler out of his locker. Once you have it, show Ozzy the flower. He should fall apart and die. Felix and I will meet you after school. If all goes well, you'll be handsomely rewarded. All right, we'll see you then. So that's it. So that's why we had to sell the inhaler. We needed enough cash to actually get to science class. All right, so we paid the science fee. We are all good. So we're in science class now. Now, this part is very important. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Okay, so we've done all of this. Now, the last thing we've got to do, then, is head on out here. Hey, I see you over there. No leaving when the science to be done. All right, fine. Let's talk to Watsi a second. Go away, kid. I'm trying to learn about plants. Check out this plant. Now, if we do that, though, surely the problem here is going to be that he'll go back to his locker, find his inhaler, and then that won't work out. Let me just test it, because we can always back out. Ah, no! Get out of the way from me! Uh, I think I'm having an asthma! Ah! Wait, dude, he's turning purple. Give him some room. Damn it, Ozzy. We've been over this. Where's your inhaler? Yes, in my locker. Please hurry. So that gets him out of the class, but that's not what we need, dude, because look, he comes back. Yeah, take a breath. Don't let this happen again. And then he's fine. Wait, but, hold up, what the freak is go- Hold up. Did he just strangle me to death in front of the teacher? 
Yeah, okay. That pretty flower you have, can I have it? Only if you help me. Help you? I guess I could. What do you need? I need a distraction, so Cindy coming in clutch again? I don't know. Dr. Danny seems smarter than Mrs. Applegate. He probably won't fall for any old distraction. You're gonna need something big. Like what? Gosh, boys are stupid. Just look at this place. I'm sure there is something you can use. Maybe by the computers or something. All right, let's take a look around here then. So we do have a main switch here. We could pull this. This is an electrical outlet. It can probably be used to create a distraction. That's why we have the fork. So all this time... Bro, I'm not being funny, but Ted is a genius right now thinking this far ahead. Hold up. I should tell Cindy because if I go ahead and do this, I'm gonna fry, right? Kind of curious, right? Yep. I just, guys, I had to do it. <laughs> okay, so instead of actually doing that, let's report back to Cindy. Maybe she's got an idea. Well, what's your big distraction idea? We're gonna use the electrical outlet. The electric outlet? How's that gonna create distraction? Stick this in it. What's that going to do? Make a distraction. If you insist, but I want that flower before I do anything. I could get in trouble, but it'll be worth it for something so pretty. Wait, hold up a second. Maybe I'll find something else. Because if we give her the flower, and let's wait, she gets fried up, and then I take the flower back off her corpse? I don't care if that's morbid as free, guys. This is about to work. Okay, give her that. Oh, goody. Get ready to run. Here comes a distraction. So, wait, she's gonna do this. Please drop the four-leaf clover, dude. Please drop it. Hey, Dr. Dana, look what I'm doing. Wait, what are you doing? That's not a good idea. And so she fried up. Okay. The power cuts too? You know children are dumber than the monkeys whose brains are removed. Okay, nobody move. I'm sure the power will be back on soon. Okay, we've got an issue here though. Hold up. Let me go over towards her. Let me check the corpse. This is the fried corpse of Cindy. She still has that fork in the flower. Take the flower. All right, give me that. I got Cindy's outfit. Are you kidding? All right, dude, now we get the freak out of here, okay? Wait, what are you talking about? Get out right now, dude. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So in this time, do we maybe then go outside and then we take the thing off of Cindy's corpse after? Okay, so at this point, let me see right here. This is an air vent. It could be unscrewed. Why is it not give me the option to do that though like i've got the screwdriver right here i don't really understand wait can i just leave the classroom bro you've got to be kidding me all right so one of these is monty's right the orange one take the inhaler that's ozzy's right there hold up get back in here because we then miss the uh, school dude who's in the hall so what about now if we take this from cindy's corpse are we still good take the flower hold up power's back ah uh, there we go everyone get back to doing science uh dude what, what about this you know right here okay now at this point the locker is empty because we have the inhaler so he's gonna run off let's see what happens what if he comes back this feels so bad but you know i'm kind of hoping this works out well Z, i have some bad news it's not there so it looks like you're going to die here but don't worry, it won't be in vain. If you sign on the dotted line here, I'm semi-legally allowed to use your body for science. Ah! I'll just vouch it for him. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Good news, everyone. I've suddenly come into possession of a kind of a... Tomorrow's lesson will be on anatomy. Thank God we never see Wednesday. I just noticed the body's count in today's class has been slightly higher than average. Perhaps we could end the day a little early. Everyone go home. That's it! Dude, everyone leaves lesson. So this should be it, right? Let everyone leave. Do these dudes wait behind, though? Let me see. They are, they're both waiting behind, and we go over and meet them. Let's get this done. There he is, Felix. I told you he would do it. I, I didn't see Ozzy come out of the school. Did you really do what my brother is suggesting? Yep, fascinating. Um, well done then. This is exactly what I wanted. Yes, exactly. I knew we could do it, and we did it all without your help. Yes, I'm sure father would be quite proud. Give him his reward. Give him the thing. Oh, yes. Wait, what'd he give us? Ah, uh, here you are. What is it? It's a pin from our company. It represents that you are a trustworthy ally to our family. So, what, we can get some, like, rep from this thing? Cool. Say, Teddy, would you mind telling the driver I'll be a minute? I just need a moment to talk to our new friend here. Sure thing, Felix. Before I go, take this monster mon card. Kinda looks like Kazi did before I am. Um, bye! Dude, also that, the stress llama. Okay, so this dude is like Kingpin, right? Oh dear, what a mess. A mess? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ozzy wasn't supposed to die. You didn't want Ozzy dead? Goodness no, I wanted Ted dead. Why? Perhaps we could discuss this matter tomorrow? Perhaps. Excellent. Good day to you, Hitman. Good day. So, wait. An innocent person just died. Dude, I killed the wrong person, but that goes to show that Felix really doesn't like Ted in this. So we got the prestigious pin, we got the germaphobe stripes, and the spore pink dress continue. We got two new monster ones as well, we'll check those out, but I wonder then if a further objective down the line is to maybe work with Felix. If we go to help right now and on the mission map, look at this, dude. We can do the nugget mission, are you kidding me? Okay, so what the arrows refer to is almost like the ways that we can do the new mission, so we had to do this one here and this one to unlock the nugget mission. Guys, look, I know the flowers for Diana is one of the top missions, but the whole nugget thing right now, dude, I'm kind of invested. I've been wanting to do another nugget mission, so I think this is part four confirmed. Let's check out the monster mon cards as well before we finish. So we got this one here. Uh, no, we didn't. The llama. The stress llama deals two damage and can reduce a green monster mon card's damage by three. We haven't got a single green one, so I wonder where you find those. We also got this one here, the castle of sand. It deals three damage plus two damage if you have less HP and can reflect a red monster mon. Interesting. We'll throw those two in the deck, but we don't have any of the green monster mon and also none of the purple ones 
ones too, so I wonder how we get those. Regardless, guys, that was another episode of Kindergarten. We got another mission done. That was a fascinating one, to say the least, even though it turns out that we didn't actually do the intended thing. Hold up, go to mission map a second here. You know, I wonder if this is the outline for that head there, because it does look like it, you see? I wonder then if by doing the Hitman's party guard, it furthers the mission here. And wait, Hi. who the freak is that mohawk looking dude? Either way, guys, thank you for watching this other episode of Kindergarten. I really hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am, because it's a treat to play. And with all that said, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.